Hello, all the Green Club fans out there. My name is Ivan Novik, and I'm from the product management team working on Green Plum. Hi, I'm, I'm Divya, and I take care of the engineering in Green Plum. So today we've got a great announcement, which is 6.20. And it's, it's our best release ever, and I couldn't be more happy to share it with Divya and with you guys. So let's get started. So we've got our 10 top, the top 10 things, which are in Green Palm 620, and we're going to walk through them with you right now. So go ahead, Divya. Yeah, the most exciting feature uh, in this release is the Green Plum foreign data wrappers. And uh, this allows you to retrieve data directly via segments in parallel from one Green Plum cluster to another. So this is a really, really exciting feature that uh, is much awaited by our customers. And I'm very happy to introduce this feature in 620. And it's all based on MPP, right? Not going through a single host, right? That's correct. Yes, that's right. Awesome. Oh, great. Number two, B tree gin indices. So we already support B tree in Green Plum, and that's great for looking up and doing quick queries. What this new index does is it, it works on fancy data types like INET, MAC address, so network data types and other complex funky data types, you want to create an index and you want to search for them, then you can use B-tree gen indices in Green Plum 620. All right, segment recovery process. So we have had several improvements in the Green Plum segment recovery process. Uh, at this point, we can have much faster uh, and reliable recovering because uh, the individual mirrors can be uh, brought up without uh, uh, waiting for all the mirrors to come up. So uh, uh, this is uh, way better than the full recover seg uh, option uh, for incremental recoveries, yeah. Sounds good. All right, and then uh, going to number four. Another analytical or, or functional feature here is the PG trigram. So again, this is another extension built up in the Postgres world, which is included in the Green Plum release. This is for text. So if you want to search and compare text, there is a similarity function that comes with PG trigram. That similarity function returns a score and tells you how similar two different text strings are to each other uh, mathematically and numerically. You can all, it has some syntactical sugar in it, so you can do queries and limit based on how similar things are and allow you to really create Green Plum as this multi-dimensional engine, right? So in number two, we had network address support with indexes. This one is for text, really searching for, for text that matches with it. Number five. Yes, GP state minus E has several improvements. Uh, this is in order to better understand the Green Plum system uh, that's undergoing recovery of segments, we've added uh, some extra sections. So we have uh, a section called the segments and recovery, which can give us information about uh, what type of recovery this is. Is this incremental or full? And uh, what's the progress of the recovery process? Right. So I can go and see it's 20% done and kind of estimate. How much longer? Yeah, cool. you can you have a better estimate on how long to wait for before your mirrors can come up. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, number six. So the GP Orca optimizer. So we've got some new capability in the optimizer. It's the default optimizer in Green Plum, and it's you know uh, long long amount of work we put into it. We now support ordered aggregates. For example, percentile, where you're trying to do an aggregation, but dependent on the order. And we also support um, Orca can handle heterogeneous partitions in a better way than it could before, especially in index selection. So we always were able to do index selection with Green Plum and pick up the indexes when it's the best query plan. But now, even if you have you know, a variety of different partitions with different structures, Orca will be able to still pick up the indexes when they're relevant. The reason that this was tricky for Orca was Orca abstracts away the metadata of the partitions in order to have smaller memory footprint. And so that abstraction made it a little bit um, 
didn't give us all the information we needed to handle the heterogeneous, but now it's still very small memory footprint, but also can pick up the indexes. That's exciting. And we saw pretty good performance improvements in the, using this, so. That's right. Good. Number okay. seven. Uh, the next one is the GP array ag. So array ag uh, is an aggregate method that takes several input values and concatenates them into an array. Um, we now have a GP array ag that takes advantage of the parallelism of green plum segments it produces a much faster response. Right, so you can substitute out and use the new one with the same use yes. case? Same use case, you could just substitute out. It's faster, yeah. Awesome, all right. Number eight, Green Plum on BX Rail. So Green Plum on BX Rail, we have a virtual appliance. If you wanna go with, uh, with, that, uh, with, a, with a vSphere and a virtualization approach, BX Rail is a hardware configuration. And um, we now we have a full certification. We have a virtual appliance, so you can take our virtual appliance download, and it can help to automate full deploy either using our VM template or creating your own template. And we, it includes GPCC, so everything comes up right away with Green Club and with the command center ready to go. Any questions on that one, Divya? This sounds interesting. <laughs> no, I will. Be really uh, glad that VxRail is taking off, yeah. Right, and then it's not to say that you can't use Greenplum with vSphere on other platforms, but we just did a little extra effort since VxRail is a special product for VMware to, to do, um, to, to basically provide the full reference architecture and configuration to go with VxRail. Number nine. All right. So uh, Red Hat. So Red Hat is a very well-respected platform and we have plenty of customers using it. And uh, we are really happy that uh, we have tested Greenplum, uh, all parts of Greenplum working well on RHEL 8 platform and uh, it's, it's official, so. Nice, great. And then number 10, the last but not least, the streaming server. We have a new version of the streaming server 1.7. The streaming server, if you're not familiar, will, will do continual data loading from something like Apache Kafka into Greenplum. So you just continue to load the data. And now we have even more hooks and ways to process those streams. So as the data is streaming, you can pre-process, you can post-process using SQL. And you can even now, we have in beta version A, a connection with S3. So we can be streaming from S3 and uh, the streaming server massively high volume and well well liked by the users who picked it up. So if you haven't gone, if you're still doing daily ETL, maybe time to start thinking about moving towards real time and getting your data warehouse continually updated. Um, so with that, um, those are the top 10 features in 620. We, we certainly hope to have a lot more awesome releases coming soon. And um, thanks to all the Green Club community. Thanks, everybody. And until the next episode. Thank you all. Absolutely. Take care.